ready so i am live and i want to talk to you guys oh your finger on my thing hello guys how are you doing is it straight so you guys i want to today i've been wanting to talk about this for a while and i kept i kept on delaying it and today i want to get into this topic so i want to start firstly by telling you guys what happened before and then what made me get into this topic and all the things can i borrow your phone to see if i'm live okay i think i'm live now so guys okay let me check if i'm live give me a second or if i can hear myself and then i want to get onto this topic that i feel like is very important um okay let me see okay there we go i am live so you guys my husband lost his job right um i'm gonna tell you a story that made me talk about this topic and hopefully i'll reach women out there or young girls out there with this topic that i feel like is one of the most important topics right i mean not more the most important topics but then something that opened my eyes in a way that i feel like i need to share it on my platform so my husband lost his job years ago right and when he lost his job i want to get, give you the backstory of why i'm sharing this story when he lost his job we were two years into our marriage and it was hard so we did not have a savings account we did not have anything saved up for this for for anything like that because it happens abruptly and then after he lost his job two years into our marriage we were also buried in a lot of debts and it was very very hard like extremely hard for me it was giving me stress because i'm someone that is so scared of debt not what not any type of debt does not give me sleep i don't know whether it's because i'm from a country where getting into debt can get you in trouble people can knock at your door so because i have that mentality debt is tap is the type of thing that gives me very very big anxious stress so after he lost this job it was hard on us and that's the what made me stand up too to realize that i could not just rely on my husband and which brings me to the today's topic and today's topic guys is the topic of um that is very it's a very like hot topic on if you watch tiktok on tiktok and even here on youtube but mostly on tiktok and that's topic topic is the topic of a trad wife if you don't know what trad wife you probably don't have tiktok or you don't know the tradition the, the words of today trad wife stands for traditional wife what is my thoughts on traditional wife and what where do i stand on traditional wife i want to i want to talk about this topic today because trad wife in america and mostly it means that it means a traditional wife who does not who whose job is like the traditional roles you all cook you do all things by yourself i mean you have children you cook you do all these things so i want to give my thoughts on the trad wife what is my thoughts on that um that i want to talk about that but firstly i have to tell you a story that i was watching a woman bawling her eyes off or uh, this woman was a trad wife and they got into a very bad divorce and she was left with nothing and she, she 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 was left with nothing when i say nothing her marriage left her with 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 lots of stress she could not take care of her seven children it was rough like rough and she was an, a, a textbook explanation of a tried wife so today i want to talk to young girls and and tell you my thoughts on it when what i believe on this thing of being a trad wife is it wise to just be a trad wife without thinking about without having a backup plan i want to tell you why i don't believe in this movement of a trad wife stay at home mom your job is just to care for the children and never to make an income i don't believe in that i mean if i was born in the 1600s or 1700s or before it was hard to acquire land when it was easy to acquire land i think i'll be 
hardcore believer in that. But these days, even owning your property is, is, is closer to impossible unless you get a mortgage, right? And not only that, even when you own a mortgage, you still have to pay a property tax of that stuff. Things today are not the same. So that gives me to this topic that I'm very, very, very crazy about that I don't think it's wise to be a stay-at-home mom that does not have a backup plan. When I say backup plan, have an education of some sort. Or when I say education, I mean be at the point whereby if your husband was to die, you'll be able to stand. Or if something was to happen to your husband, you'll be able to stand. I don't think it's wise in that way. Let me explain what happened. So after my husband lost his job, right? Because I want to talk about this topic. Oh my, I want to get it off my chest. It was hard. Guys, it was hard. And this is, people, people like to see my videos where I say, well, I'm debt free. I don't have anything like that. But they don't know the root how it started, how I became the nail that I am today. That at this point, I want to give a message to young girls and young women out there, or the women that just think that um, what they hear from a lot of stuff, they cannot, I want to talk about that topic. That's what I want to talk about today because I'm very, very into this topic. So. Why do I not believe into this trad wife, do nothing, just take care of the children? Why I don't believe it 100% is because it's very, it can put you in a very difficult position. I was telling you guys about this woman that I was crying on when I was watching on TikTok crying. She had seven kids and she was left with nothing. She was, she did not have money for groceries because they went through a very rough divorce. The divorce was very rough and basically what happened was that the husband went to other women that's the story and then they went into this divorce but everything was on the husband's name she did not have a bank account which was my which is my case too <laughs> she did not have a bank account not only did she not have a bank account she did not have anything so when they went through this divorce the husband, she did not have money to buy groceries because she had, I think it's called alimony, right? Is it called alimony? Yeah. She had an alimony of like um, $300 a month. What? The, what the husband did, the husband had a mother in the nursing home, right? And then the husband brought the mother into his home and told the state that she cannot, he cannot work. Okay. That was her story. Even though the husband had money, what he did, he brought the, his, his sick mom into their home and say, well, I cannot afford to pay her. Because that's how ugly it was. And then she was left with nothing. And then she was crying, saying that she cannot afford to go and buy groceries. And that made me want to talk about this topic. That even when you are a, a stay-at-home mom, have your eyes opened. For me, what I did, I want to tell you what I did. I built skills. Oh, no. Like right now, if something was to happen to my husband today, let's say he was to die today, I've built skills. This is one thing that I want to say that will allow me to survive with our four children without my husband. And that's one thing that I want to tell the girls, the young girls out there, that build a skill of some sort start a business of some sort and don't ever be in a situation where you are put in a position where you cannot survive like imagine not having any skills of any type of a job like not type of a job like for example let's say i don't have any skills the only skills that i have is to care for my children homeschool them which i'm doing and also cooking yeah. I don't have a skill to get as my name is busy, please. Um, to get a skill. If you don't have any type of a skill, what that's gonna do? This woman was crying on TikTok telling us that I don't have enough money for groceries. And I thought to myself, 
The trad wife movement, they lie to you. I mean, the stay-at-home mom movement. I love being a stay-at-home mom. I believe in it 100%. What I do not believe in, I want to tell you what I do not believe in. What I do not believe in is not bringing some type of an income. Or even if we don't bring an income, when I do not bring a skill to myself that I'll be able to survive with my children. I do not believe that. Because the, a, lot of, a lot of preachers or a lot of people that like to preach, oh, a woman's job is in the home. A woman's job is um, to care of the, for the children, to stay at home. They never touch Proverbs 31. 99% of these pastors or these preachers, they never touch Proverbs 31. Because I'm a Christian. I'm a Bible believer that believes in Proverbs 31 100%. But a lot of these preachers, they never touch Proverbs 31. What they will do, just touch, they just touch like there and there. And not only that, we do not have a full picture of the lives of people like Sarah. Well, I believe that Sarah was a stay at home, but also she has servants. She has people working for her. She had a rich husband. She had everything like that. Not only Sarah, look at all these people. They had skills. Look at even people like Ruth. They had skills to go and glean on people's um, properties to go and glean grapes, glean food. So they have those type of properties. But today, they had those kind of skills. But today, women don't build skills. So I want to talk to those, I want to use my platforms to talk to those women that women that strive to be trad wives, like I am. I consider myself a trad wife in that, I, I consider myself a trad wife, traditional wife that believe in stay at home with my kids. But you know what I'm not doing? I'm not sleeping. I'm building my skills. I'm building stuff. As I was telling you guys that, I was telling you guys the skills that I built. For me right now, I, I'm coming from the business economics background i build skills in the business world for example i, I build skills on marketing um marketing like uh, social media marketing i can get that job to anyone i build skills in editing videos i build skills in in starting a social media platform i can teach other women how to start a social media business which i'm I have, but also I'm not, I, I'm, I'm going to do even more in the future. But I already built skills that if something was to happen to my husband, God forbid, I'll be able to stand. So that's one thing that I wanted to tell you guys that do I believe in what the preachers of today push as far as a stay-at-home mom, traditional wife? I don't believe that. But instead, I believe more in the traditional wife as explained in the Bible. Like, if you, if you want to know what I'm talking about, just go and have, when you have time, read Proverbs 31 of that woman, what she does, and be that type of a person. I believe in that type of a traditional wife as opposed to the traditional wife. Don't get me wrong. Raising children, being pregnant, having this type of boys and children, homeschooling and everything, it is work. But is it a work to sustain you if your husband was to leave? No. So that's a, a thing that I wanted to share with you guys that when my husband lost his job and we lost everything and we pretty much went into debt and I, I became so much anxious with, with a lot of debt, that's when I, I was like, this does not work. This movement or this 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 um idea of the trad the trad wife in the sense of the modern one it doesn't work but instead it works when you build skills when you have some type of a background so don't what i'm trying to say to young girls is that being a traditional wife is what i strive for what i'll teach my child what i'll teach my children but also what i'll teach them is that you don't just Cooking for your family is not enough. Oh, uh, doing that is not enough. It can put you in a hole. And you know what I'm thankful for? I'm actually thankful to God that he put me in that position two years post-marriage. Because had, had my husband not lost his job or had he not be in that situation, 
I would have probably be like live in oblivion. Is that oblivion? Like live in in um slumber. Is that that word? I would have lived in slumber thinking that, oh yeah, I'm fine. And not only that, some people, they don't just lose their husbands to divorce. Some people lose their husbands to death. And... Incarceration. Huh? Incarceration. What is incarceration? Go to jail. Oh. That happens? Okay. <laughs> you, never <know. laughs> you never know, honey. You just, you just read the story of a money, money line. Oh, tell them. Come and tell them the story. The story. You know. Oh, my goodness. My husband is right. So, this other story, my husband just told me the story. And by the way, give this video a like so it can reach other young women. So, this girl also, she's selling her story. What happened that her, her, her father, um, she was raised, I mean, I think she was a Mormon, right? She's a, yeah, the, 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 the father was um, a Mormon father. And this husband was from Spain. And... He became friends with a Mormon bishop. I'm telling you the, the crazy stories when my husband say you can go to jail. Um, the Mormon bishop. So this man, this Mormon bishop, um, was in was friends with the father to this girl who's the who's the who's the father is from Spain. And then they were involved into cartel. Illegal. Illegal something, cartel and everything like that. And this is America. I always say that if there's one thing that I give America is their detective FI, FBI. They got busted. So they, they, they went to jail. They lived in a very multi-million dollar house. They lost everything because the husband went to jail. So when my husband said about that. So that is another topic that can happen. And they lost everything like that. And the husband, the mother had to go to the church to beg them saying, I saved you. I paid the tithes. I did all these things for all my life and I need help. I cannot survive. And yes, it's a good idea to them to ask for help. But I, I want to say this to young girls. Don't put yourself to a position where you go to beg for help. Don't put yourself into that. I'm so glad that with what I know now, what I'm going to, if I, if I ever have a daughter, what I'm going to tell to my daughter is don't ever live without a skill or don't ever live without bringing some type of an income at home, even when you stay at home. And in America, I like to say this about America is that, um, I know women like to get angry when I say this, but I still stand by my word. In America, you don't have an excuse to not find some type of a work from home. Technology created thousands and thousands of work from home jobs. Like work from home jobs, whether you start a type of a cookie. If we stay at home mom, why not start a cooking social media business? Because you're already cooking. You can start that business. I always say this. You can start a business of proofreading stuff. Like, in America, a woman does not have an excuse to say that I don't have the time. Or I don't have anything like that. What do I do when I... When I if you watch me for a long time, even before my husband started working from home, was that when my husband was at work outside the home, this is what I did. I filmed myself cleaning. I filmed myself um, cooking. I did everything like that. Filmed myself. Started the Nail Catch Baby, which is now a big brand. I mean, not big brand, but it's a brand when I started it. So what I'm saying is that when you are in America, you have Wi-Fi. You do not have an excuse to not start some type of a job. Does it take time? Yes. It took time. Let me tell you just how long it takes me. It took me. Because I want to talk about this topic. You know how long it took me to make $182? It took me five months to even make $100 of posting every single day for five months to make $100. 100. I haven't had a video here on YouTube. My first YouTube paycheck. $100 Five months of working for free. That, that's what I'm saying, that it takes you time. 
but is it worth it? Today, I'm at the point where I can say that I've built a platform and not only even like build a, a skill, even if I was to be stranded, I've built an audience that I could say, guys, I'm in a very tight position. Not that I'll do that. Please donate to me. Not that I'll do that. I'm saying that I'm still in a position that come. Yes, it's okay. I'm so happy for you. Um, even if things were to be hard, I, there are people that I can cry to. Although I don't believe in the begging method because of my husband. I used to not see a problem with it, but my husband told me no. So what I'm saying is that, yeah, good job. Sure, daddy. That's a cool one. So, yeah. Yes. So what I'm saying is that women don't, if you're a young woman, don't build into this thing of not having a backup plan. I'm not saying that I mean, it's fine to get into stuff, like when I was doing stuff. Like in America, as I said, is that... Okay, let me read a comment here. I've taught my children, girls and boys, to learn skills. This is from Krista. Learn to work. Learn to do whatever to provide for yourself and your family. Exactly. Thank you, Krista. Yes, I'm reading your comments now um, about this building of skills. Someone's, um, someone's uh, right. Um, someone said, you are so right. Telling the truth and being exposed to the truth is a problem in America. Uh, you know, for me, though, I'm glad that it had to be when we lost everything like that to open my eyes. Because maybe I would have been like this, um, this mindset of saying that, well, taking, of ch taking care of children is, is too much work. Maybe I would have been like that. Or I would have said, oh, so I don't need to, to build some type of a, um, side hustle that's not smart that's not wise let me use the word that's not wise so do i believe in being a child wife definitely but i don't believe in being a child wife that is just not doing anything that actually helps her to survive and not only that you know when i started building skills and i started like this now cash baby social media do you know how much weight i lifted off my husband's shoulder too just like being able to help like being able to say okay i can bring in a little bit that i make to buy groceries that made me that made things easier for my husband too and not only that a lot of people like to say this to my to my to my, to my social media what are you gonna do if your husband was to die my husband and i will talk about, will talk about this topic too we did that's nice. I love it. Go and show it to Joshua and Caleb. Like, what was to happen if my husband was to die? What will happen is that I'll just mourn for my husband. But you know what will, what will not happen? What will not happen will be me going into deep poverty. Like, when I say poverty, I mean, like, me being in that stranded position. And we made sure that we, we did that, that my husband and I, we talked about this, that if I was to die, my husband can remain and still take care of our children. If my husband was to die, he will still be, I'll still be able to survive. That's the model that we built. And that's what I, I highly recommend because it, there's a lot of stories that I want to share, but I've passed to, I've told myself that I'm going to talk for 23, I mean for 15 minutes, but I'll talk for 23 minutes. So I don't think the third wife thing it's a smart decision when you don't have a backup plan. So if you're a young girl watching me, build a skill. Build a skill at home. Build a type of a skill. Start a small business. As I said, if you are in America, no excuse. In America, no excuse. Does it take time? Yes. Does it take building skills here and there? Yes. But can you just leave? without bringing anything and say okay my job is that is just to bring in bring in the babies um bring in the babies which people accuse me of by the way <laughs> they say my job is to bring in the babies <laughs> which is true though but that's not all my job bring in the babies and then cook and homeschool that's a job yes but is that all you should be doing no i don't think so if you're a young girl watching me you see that lady? 
Proverbs 31 woman strive to be her. Don't listen to this preacher saying that, well, just being a child wife and then your job is to, is, to, is to cook at home. Yes, your job is to cook at home. But you know what else is your job? Is to find a field that possibly even your husband owns to sell it. That's my question to that husband of yours, that, I mean, to that preacher. Do you, do you have something to give me to sell and so that my family does not get hungry? Not only that, do you have servants for me? Do you have maids? working for me, doing stuff for me. Unless you have those things for me, then we can talk. Because these, these spirituals, they like to put these women in very hard positions. I actually, this is a true story. Here in America, one time, a preacher cheated on his wife. His wife with seven children. They got a divorce. The preacher that has been preaching tried wife for many years and then he cheated and left the wife with seven children i pray that that wife had skills but if that wife did not have a skill look at you being a hypocrite as a preacher you're preaching all this be a tried wife be a stay-at-home mom your job is to care for my children and not only that you give me seven children and you cheat on me what type of craziness is that and then not only that you leave me with nothing um yes so one thing that I, I want to say to young women, don't fall for it, guys. Or if we want to see real stories, go to TikTok and just type trad wife stories or trad wife horrors and hear from these 40 years old women of what they went through. And after you Google trad wife, you will start to... To, to ask yourself. Others lost their husband, not to cheating, but to death. And they had to start building a skill in their 40s, in their 50s. But in, in reality, it would have been smart to build a skill in your know, first years of marriage and still survive. Here's what, I, just survive. Live a life. Um, tomorrow, I want to read you a letter that I wrote to my daughter. And because I write letters to my daughters, to my sons, and all these things. I want to read you a, lot, a letter to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Because this video is long. I, I, have a lot, I had a letter that I wrote to my daughter. Um, I don't have a daughter. Yes, I know. Um, I have a letter to a daughter, my daughter. And I'll read it for you tomorrow, hopefully. And this letter, I, I shared it on, on Facebook, actually. It went viral. Okay, this letter went viral on Facebook because it, it was a letter to my daughter. And, and also I have a letter to my sons. I have a letter for both, um, for both my sons. And I'll read it for you guys. This video is too long already. I'll see you again.